Hello everyone. As you can hear, I'm brewing up some wheat coffee right now. Um, so while we're waiting for that, uh, just a little, um, uh, little bit of business, a couple things I just wanted to mention. Um, and you can enjoy me put puttering around in the kitchen while I wait for that. Um, the first thing I wanted to mention is, um, someone had left me a comment. I really apologize because I have not responded back. Um, I have, I think it's well known my ineptitude with electronic devices. I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to, trying to improve or expand my knowledge. Um, I mean, it's, it's I'm not like 90 years old. I've <laughs> used computers at work, uh, but, but this is kind of, um, a whole new level for me. Um, anyway, someone had left me a comment about wanting to do, eh, that's the Keurig. Oh, that sounds rough. Anyway, so someone had left me a message about, yeah, who, I'm just imagining like someone coming on here to listen to something amusing and they get to listen to me like making coffee. It's the learn experience. Be right back. Got to get a cigarette. Um, <laughs> someone had left me a message about wanting to do, uh, having an idea about doing a chat log reading uh, with people doing various, various parts. And I did, uh, I do have an email address. I have put it in the description of a couple of videos, um, but I wanted to um, put that out there. Please send me an email. I'm very sorry I haven't responded. I'm not ignoring you, precious. I would never ignore you. Um, but my email address is bapsby at gmail.com. I'm going to spell that because I do realize it's, it's, it doesn't roll right off the tongue. Um, and I'll explain where that came from. Uh, anyway, it's B-A-P-S-T-B-Y at gmail.com. B-A-P-S-T-B-Y at gmail.com. Email me. I will email you back. I would love to get um, ideas. Um, if somebody wants to collaborate, I think that would be really fun. This community is so great because it's just such a collection of, of so many talented people and it's been a great crea cre <laughs> creative outlet for me. Uh, and, and I really like the fact that it's like really interactive that we, we, we talk to each other. We, we, we make each other laugh. We, you know, we laugh at Lauren together. It's, it's beautiful. The other thing I wanted to do very quickly, and I'm going to apologize if I butcher your name, but Aussie Jules Kilmister left me the most amazing comment. I asked permission. If you haven't seen this, <laughs> someone needs to make this into a play. This is so beautiful. Uh, I asked permission and it was granted to to read this uh, in my, I'm going to try my very best, my very best Lauren voice. Uh, if someone else has got a, a, a pretty good one, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> but this may, I had to go back and read this thing like 10 times. It was so funny. So give me one second. I have to, I have to channel my inner Lauren. I got to drink my coffee. <sighs> All right. Hold on. My cat's stuck on a curtain. Come on. <laughs> Yet another high class production. All right, you ready? Now let me set the scene. <coughs> Pardon me. Lauren uh, is bringing Kayla back to his apartment. And this is exactly, exactly how he wants things to go. Um, they, he's just picked her up from her house. They've driven the hour. He's almost out of gas. Uh, they're getting ready to go in, inside the door. Lauren turns to Precious and says, okay, Precious, here's what's going to happen. 
I'm going to open the door to my bachelor lawn pad. Scold Bud for pissing on my favorite shirt that I keep on my floor drobe. Now he's cowering in the corner. You can go and pat him for exactly five minutes while I make coffee and have, an, have a cigarette for extra stamina. After, <laughs> sorry. After the five minutes, we will adjourn to my bedroom where I've decorated things just for you. I've laid down trash bags on the floor, so when I stick it in you, the rivers of blood that come gushing out won't stain the carpet, and I'll be able to get Betty's deposit money back when we move in together. Now, we will get naked, take off all your clothes, and dump them on the floor. I'm going to take my clothes off now. Oh, shit! Bud, get out of here! Oh, okay, you've missed Daddy. Just curl up on my clothes and go to sleep. Okay, baby. <laughs> now kneel down and you can suck my filthy rancid meat. I didn't wear underwear at all this last week to air it out. Okay, now put your hand on the end of my shaft and turn your head on a 45 degree angle and place your, mu place your mouth over. Oh, I'm G, Kayla. Quick, I'm going to make white stuff. Why did you run out of here? Holy shit, bud. Don't lick my balls. You'll make me... Oh. Precious? I just have to wash. I just have to quickly wash, bud. Do you want to come in the shower with us? Precious? Kayla, where the fuck are you? Kayla, you better get your... Oh, hi, officer. No. She's my niece. No, I haven't done anything with a minor. Bud is four. That's 28 in human years. No, I didn't screw my dog. He's a boy. That would be sick. Why are you cuffing me? Can I have a cigarette, please? Uh, thank you. Uh, I did not do it justice, but that felt, that felt really good. That was fun. Thank you very much. Just one of the amazing people in this community. The, oh, thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to do that, Aussie Jules. I love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, now that I've, um, you know, amused myself, now I'm going to attempt to amuse you. So uh, we're going to start at October 14th, 2007 at 635 a.m. BRB coffee. Mm -hmm. Good morning, my precious princess, Rose. It's 5.30 and I'm sitting here staring at your pics. I love you. And at 12.58, Kayla Princess finally comes on. I've been sitting here being bored and hoping you'd come on here. Lol. Really? Yes. So we're going to start right out with... Lauren's been up since 6.35, 5.35 his time, I guess, um, waiting for Kayla to come online. <laughs> and at almost noon their time, she does, and the first thing Lauren says is, I've been sitting here bored and hoping you'd come on here. Lol. Really? Yes. Aw. Did you get my offline I left you this morning? Boy, what I wouldn't let... Boy, what I wouldn't give to read that. Is that out there anywhere? I've seen some of this stuff. I always had this dream of like, maybe next year, like lining up the phone calls and the pictures and the, you know, as it happens, because I am lame and I have no fucking life. I've, <laughs> hang on, okay. I need a drink of water. I love you. Okay. Okay. I love you too. What time did you wake up? A little bit ago. I couldn't get my sig maker to work right for me that time. Oh, God, I love you, Kayla. I love you too. I missed you a lot after we got off of here last night. I wanted you back read right after. Oh. So you're going to come on Friday night. You need to call me today. Why? Because you need to. Oh. Just trust me, okay? Gave you all my trust. Fucker. Just, he's always talking about trusting people. And, and he's the most, he is like the most trusting person. <laughs> uh, 
but he's always talking about that as like a a cornerstone of of a relationship and it is and it is you got i mean if you have a partner and you don't trust them that's that's a pretty shitty relationship but in lauren's like skewed world view it's almost like when he he says you know um call me today promise or i don't want this on the internet promise and all you have to do is say okay i promise and he's like okay um for someone who's been burned so many fucking times, he still is the most trusting, gullible. Like, I, I don't, he blows my mind. Um, anyway, you're not coming Friday. Yes, I am. Grr, you need to call me today. My parents are here and they're being real buggy today. Remember what I told you last night? Just tell them you're calling Jesse. I know. What time do you think you come in Friday? I don't know yet. That's why you need to call me so we can talk about it. I don't want to talk about it on here. <laughs> yeah, because you, you're really going to fool him. I mean, you're literally saying we're going to make plans to meet. But I guess in his mind, like, if, if he got caught, maybe he could say, uh, you know, role play in chat room or some bullshit like that. I didn't, I didn't actually make plans, so it doesn't count. Sure, I showed her my dick every night, and she's probably scarred for life, but oh well. Oh, oh had to get a paper towel. I have to clean up a mess, sorry. Um, I'll explain that to you on the phone, okay? So call me today, okay? Okay, I'll try. OMG, BRB, okay. Okay, back. They're going somewhere later. I'll call when they leave. Did they say what time? Oh, Lauren, it's, you know, it's, I want it now. Like, <laughs> like, okay, first, you know, it's like, you're going to call me. You're going to call me. You're going to call me. Now it's what time? What time? What time? Did they say what time? No. Bummer. Hopefully soon. Let's see how many times Lauren brings it up again. I can't remember. I honestly can't. I can't remember. Let's see if he brings it up 50 more times. That would be so unlike him. Probably this evening. Well, that's all right, as long as it's today. Do you miss your other love? You guys ready? Are you ready? I, I'm hearing like, <laughs> y'all ready for this? Here comes. Who? Mr. Penis. Lol. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome, Mr. Penis. Oh, lol, yeah. Want to see him for a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let me make another sig first. Okay. Okay. There. How's that? Good. I love you. I love you. My son started saying that. He heard me saying it one time. He was driving me crazy last night. I was like, all right. Good night. Go to sleep. I mean, I'm telling him to go to bed. Go to sleep. He's like, okay. I love you. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. Well played, son. Well played. Um, I want to know what you want to tell me. You'll know when you call me today. Lol. I really am drinking coffee, so I apologize for the, for the breaks here. You'll know when you call me today. Lol. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you over this thing. If you want to call me so I can do it, do it over. Obviously, um, it's, it's the way he crafts sentences, the way he constructs them, just it's like I, my brain has a hard time um, <laughs> understanding. I, I guess that's a good thing. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you over this thing. If I want you to call me so I can tell you. Lol. Oh, I get it now. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you over this thing if I want you to call me so I can tell you. God, that took way too much time. His... Is it um a surprise? No. I will have a surprise for you, though. It's the pleasure pack. What? But don't be asking any more questions about that because I'm not telling you. Lol. Darn. Is it something bad? No. 
something good. Will you please not ask any more questions? Lol. Jeez, thank you. Are you anxious to get your hands on Mr. Penis? Lol. <laughs> you fucking, you fucking loser. <laughs> Are you anxious to get that? That sentence has everything, everything wrapped. It's just all rolled up into one. Are you anxious to get your hands on Mr. Penis? Lol. Yes. Hmm. Something you want to tell me, but not on here. Hmm. Sucks to have to keep wondering. Huh? Yes. Sorry. I love you, though, my precious princess. Rose, does that help? No. You have to be patient. You'll find out when you call me. Okay. <laughs> Not fair. Oh, no. Kayla's asking, acting like a child. How unreasonable. I know. <coughs> I'm sorry. went down the wrong way. I know, but I have no choice. Why you got no choice? Urgh. Lol. Lauren's probably getting really pissed at this point. Like, why? Kayla, just shut the fuck up. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my face in his mouth. My fist in his mouth. In his mouth. Lauren says mouth. <laughs> because, because of all the things I've already told you a while ago about the internet. So, we talk about stuff here. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, so that's why you have to wait until you call me. I wonder what the, the criteria is for what you can talk about and what you can't. Because he talks about talking on the phone. He talks about meeting. I guess it's just like actual plans for meeting you can't do on Yahoo. Then you're in trouble. You can do all this other crazy shit. But actually making plans um, is, you know, is where... The criminal justice system will draw the line on how much you can abuse a child. Um, I know, me too, but I have to do it this way. Believe me, it'll be worth it. I don't get it. Hmm, be worth it. You will when you call me. Give me a hint. Please, pretty please. Everything I'm saying to you right now will make sense when you call me. I already gave you a hint, but you didn't catch it. Really? Yup. And he quotes, that, that threw me for a second. He quotes back, Lauren didn't delete his archives. Lauren Armstrong, because of the things I've already told you a while ago about the internet. I took a bubble bath this morning just to try to picture you in there with me. That's the second time. No, the th uh, third time. Third time, I think he references um, him testing out the bathtub or picturing her in the bathtub with him. Um, I'm starting to think maybe he's just sleeping in the bathtub. Um, cool. Things you already told me about the internet. Crap, I can't remember. Whoa. BRB. Okay. Jeez. Now they want me to go out to lunch with them. What did you tell them? I have to. Lauren is pissed. This fucks up his whole plan. And I don't, I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. I'm wondering why they were so pressed. I mean, Lauren's so goofy, but he, did he have a point about, like, putting the nail in the coffin if he talks about it on here? Um, because Kayla seems awfully anxious to get him to spell out his plans on here, even though they're going to talk on the phone about it. And they have that. I mean, they, they have the phone calls. It's not like they, they can't record that. So I'm just curious as to why, <clears throat> because when her little tactic of please, pretty please doesn't work, um, suddenly the phone call option isn't available anymore. All of a sudden her parents become the kind that want to take her out to lunch and not ignore her. Uh, I just have always been curious about why they were so adamant that he talk about it on Yahoo. Like, did, did was Lauren on to something, even if just a little bit? 
Um, tell me what you think. Uh, I have to. Damn. I told them I wasn't really hungry. They still want you to go? God, what assholes? Don't they know you have to talk to your internet boyfriend? Um, yeah. Damn. We need to spend some... We need to spend some good quality time together. Oh, brother. Did they say anything about what time they're going out today? No, but I'll find out when we're gone. Good. Want to suck on my penis? <sighs> what? The way, it just out of the blue. They're talking about her going out to lunch with her parents. What time are they going out? Want to suck on my penis? What's the correlation? What? I know that that's probably in the forefront of his mind. Um, but there's absolutely no segue to these crazy fucking things that he says. But then again, what kind of segue could you have to want to suck on my penis? Now? I wish. Whoa. Well, silly. Do you wish you could read now? Yeah, but I got to get dressed. Wish I could help you. Well, help you get undressed anyway. Lol. Get dressed, and I'll wait right here. Don't leave your room with my cam up, okay? Okay. You dressed yet? Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I couldn't decide what to wear. Uh-oh. Is Lauren going to ask what she's wearing? Let's find out. But I got to go now. Damn. I wish I could have you all day. Come back on here when you get back so you can tell me what time they're going out, okay? Lauren is going to be sitting in front of that computer all day waiting for her to come back from lunch with her parents. Okay, I love you. <sighs> she literally just said she has to go. Her parents are waiting for her. I love you is like, okay, see ya, love you. You know, see ya, love you. Tell me what you're thinking about when you're looking at my penis. It's, it's like, it's like what she's saying. Well, it's true because what she's saying only registers in his mind as far as it pertains to his wants and his needs. So he's going to try to get in a little bit more so he can jack off while she's waiting. Tell me what you're thinking about when you're looking at my penis. I can't wait to do what? be with you. They're yelling at me. I gotta go. Love you. Okay. I love you too. Think about me. I will. Just come on, Lauren. That's unfair. She's got to eat lunch. You're gonna make her sick. Delete your archives. Okay. Okay. I'm done. Talk to you later. Okay, precious. Rose. And <clears throat> it is now 638. Where's my girl? I'm going to take, and then 709, I'm going to take Bud out to go to the bathroom, precious. I'll BRB. I love you, Rose. 715. Uh, wow, that's a great six-minute walk for Bud. I'm back, precious. Rose, I love you. And Bud's what, a lab? Um, I'm not, I've had one dog, no, I've had two dogs in my life. One was a German Shepherd. And one was a boxer. And I, you know, I'm always talking about my cats. I'm not a cat person. I'm not a dog person. I'm an animal person. I like cats and dogs equally. I know some people have very strong views about, you know, whether they're a dog person or cat person. Um, but I don't, I don't know breeds very well. Um, so if I sound stupid, I apologize. But um, a, a, a lab is a pretty big breed, right? I mean, they... They need room to play and exercise. And, you know, animals get bored. And, and what, a, what a sad existence. Like, not to get maudlin, but, but seriously, sometimes I think about Bud, like, the, really, the, the hidden victim here. Like, Bud sitting in that apartment all day, every day, um alone while he quote unquote works or whatever he's doing getting taken out for like a six minute walk having to listen to you know watch and I know animals they probably don't <laughs> this is such a stupid statement animals don't care about you being naked or whatever I don't think that like like 
upset bud that he's walking around naked. But, you know, the fact that his, you know, his master, his, his friend, his life partner, <laughs> poor bud, you know, it doesn't give him any attention when he's home. He's sitting in front of that computer waiting for his precious to come on so he could jerk off. I just, I'm, I'm really happy that Bud was rescued from that existence and that from what it sounds like, he went on to live a really happy life and, and was well cared for. Um, but every time I see that, like, I got to take Bud to the bathroom and he's back like in four minutes. Like, what a selfish asshole. And, and dogs will love you. Most dogs will love you no matter what you do. It's, it just makes me really sad. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm back, precious. Rose, I love you. Love you. What time are your parents going out? Oh, we're going to pick it right back up where we left off, aren't we? Not sure if they are. Damn. I hope they do. You need to call me. Hang on. The neighbors are knocking. Okay. God, he's buggy. Who is that dude? That's Mark. He looks creepy. <laughs> okay, he's like, fuck your friends, Lauren. They're creeps. His friends are, his quote unquote friends are creeps. My neighbor. He's actually a, dis he means decent, D-E-S-C-E-N-T. He's actually a decent guy. I'm not too big on his brother-in-law, though. He's irritating as hell. Wow, high praise from Lauren Armstrong. He's a decent guy. He's a decent guy. His brother-in-law lives with him right now. Okay, what do you want? He wanted me to take him to the dollar store. I told him I couldn't read now. I love the dollar store. I just had to throw that out there. I love the dollar store. I'm gonna go to the dollar store today. I just like, like I have $5. I can get four things. Don't, don't he have a car? Yeah, but his brother-in-law is using it to go to work. His brother-in-law is at work right now. What did he say when you tell him you couldn't? He said, all right. He understood. I told him I need to save my gas for work for the week, and I have a brake light and blink a light out. <laughs> Lauren strikes me as the type. You know the type. He's got a brake light out. He's not getting it fixed until he gets that repair order from the police. He's got a blinker out. Same. Um insurance laps. Oh, well, you know, um, can't renew my tags because of my insurance laps. Oh, well, I just, <clears throat> how he's lived as long as he has just, it blows my mind. Um, which is true. So I have to fix them before Friday. Yeah. You know what? I never thought about that. He would be concerned about that because the last thing he wants is to get pulled over with 13-year-old Precious Princess um, being forced to give him roadhead in a weird position with his finger just stuck in her vagina. Um, so he is definitely going to make sure he gets those fixed. He didn't see me, did he? No. How could he see you? You don't have a cam. Lol. I know. I mean my pick. Oh, no, my cam is covering one of them, and our message box is covering the other. Okay, that's good. He's seen your pick before, though. I told him you were my niece. Lol. And I don't think Lauren realizes that's almost, almost as strange as if he had said, that's my girlfriend, to me at least. If I went... <laughs> Uh, you know, into my neighbor's apartment and he's always got pictures of his niece up on his computer screen. I, I don't know. That's, that's just a little strange to me. Um, and it sounds like, it sounds like he's pointing it out. I don't want to say bragging cause he can't, but He, I think he probably like pointed it out to be, oh, you want to see a picture of my niece? Isn't she beautiful? She's so precious. 
And he like backed out the door like, okay, just needed a ride to the dollar store. Thanks. Um, how was your lunch? Good. What did you have? Hey, I can't believe Lauren remembered something that she did. She went to lunch. Huh. And he asked about what she had. He didn't ask what she was wearing first. Good for you. Pizza. Did you save some for me? <sighs> When he tries to be cute, it's so stupid. No, I ate it all. Sorry. Dawn, I missed out again. Now I just have to eat you. Ugh. You don't mind, do you? Lol. Like the big bad wolf. Lol. Yup. Well, not really. I'll enjoy it more, and you will too. Lol. I'm just gonna eat. <clears throat> His filthy, gross mouth. <sighs> I'm just going to eat one pot of you. Know which pot that is? Um, I think. Which pot? My private part. You don't mind, do you? No. Good. So what's so important to tell me? Man, Kayla's almost as bad as Lauren. I can only tell you on the phone. Ask if they're going out. If they say no, ask if you can call Jesse. Then you can call me. Boy, he's stuck on her calling Jesse. He's got Jesse on the brain. You're going to tell me something. Going to make me sad, I think. No, I'm not. Lol. Trust me, okay? I'll never hurt you like that, precious. Okay. Promise? I promise. Rose. Okay. Hold on. I'll see if I can get the phone. Okay. Back. What's the good news? I sneaked the phone. Lol, are they still going out? Not sure, but I will be quiet. They are in the family room watching TV. Okay, let's do this quick. That's... <laughs> that would be Lauren's, like, <laughs> any sexual encounter you would ever have. Let's do this quick. <clears throat> he has no choice. I love you, my precious princess, Rose. Are you almost off the phone with Jesse? Yeah, just a minute. That must be after the call. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, call Jesse so that my number isn't the last one that comes up. He's such a mastermind. He's brilliant. Yeah, just a minute. Okay, thanks. She won't stop talking, lol. She probably got to get her debriefing from uh, Southern Aphrodite. So what color? <laughs> she probably like, okay, so what color panties and bra am I wearing? <laughs> Tell her you have to go. Tell her you talk to her tomorrow. Okay, she won't shut up. Tell her your parents are yelling for you and they don't know that you called her. Lol. Precious. Tell her you have to go, please. Great, now my mom wants me. BRB. Okay, I'm back, sorry. I love you. Love you. What did your mom want? Help her with something. Oh. Why we gotta pretend we break up one here? <laughs> I fucking love Kayla. I do. Sometimes she just... <laughs> so funny. His plan to break up on Yahoo. I wish so much that that had actually come to fruition. Like, what? Like, Lauren the actor. Oh, <sighs> Why did you ask me that on here, lol? Don't ask me anything about what we talked about on the phone. I'm sorry. Just remember everything I told you, okay? Yeah, that rambling. Okay, now, Thursday we have to break up on Yahoo. Then we got to get immediately on MySpace. And then we're going to, like, what the fuck? I'm going to send you a smoke signal. And he expects her to remember this shit. She's got to remember this plan for him guaranteed because he won't remember it maybe that's why it never happened because he kind of just forgot about it okay what are you wearing today jeans and t-shirt and white panty and wh white bra and panties i i can't it's like it comes out panties and bra i can't say it any other way anymore um can we try myspace now and see if it'll work for me sometimes it don't yup okay i'm on it now i'm trying is it working no is it taking a lot longer for my messages to get through to you on there? Yeah. Wow. 
You have to trust me on everything I say, okay? Sure, stranger I met on the internet that I've never actually met in real life. That doesn't seem like a fucking creep at all. I love you. Everything we everything that we say could depend on me coming. So you just trust me, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you. What are you thinking about? I probably have you all confused now. Huh? Damn, my space crashed. See? It says you're still on. It does? Really? Yup. How come it ain't working? I can't say nothing. I mean, type nothing. My niece just got off when I locked on it. <laughs> uh, let me try again. Because, right? of course, I'm going to have something to say about this. My niece just got off when I logged on it, and I sent her a message. But right after I sent it, her name logged off. So it might just be slow at logging off. <clears throat> I like that Lauren's reasoning of why right after, immediately after he sends his niece a message, her name logged off. Can you imagine? Because it sounds like, it sounds like he's clocking his niece as well. He knows. He's paying attention. Pay attention. He's paying attention to when she's online. He sends her a message and she disappears. His delusion about himself, his... I bet her name logs off. I bet MySpace crashes every time you send her a message, Lauren. That poor, that poor girl. Both of them. Ugh, he's a fucking prick. Dumb thing never works for me, and it freezes my pewter. Lol. It hates me. I love you, though, Rose. Aw, I love you, too. God, I miss your voice already. I miss yours, too. We both have to go to bed at ten tonight. Why? Did you, why? Why do they have to go to bed at 10? Did your computer freeze again, precious? Why? Because I have to get up at 4 tomorrow morning. Okay, they both have to go to bed at 10 because he has to get up at 4. Fuck you, Lorne. Fuck you. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I need to make sure I find the job site so I can be there on time at 4. Lol, don't go getting lost. I won't. I know where I'm going. I just want to be sure I'm there and ready. That's probably the only day, the only day he was fucking at work on time and ready to work. Because I can just imagine for Lorne, like, I've worked one day. I should be running the job site. I should be the foreman. Um, his brain. Okay. And you have to make sure you get plenty of sleep this week because you're going to be using a lot of energy on me. Ugh. Like, she's... Like, she's not even a person. Like, she's just, you know, an inanimate sex object. Everything she does has to be in relation to his sexual gratification. You're going to be using a lot of energy on, on me. Are you sure you're ready for me? Yeah. Is your vagina ready for me? Oh, yeah. Is your vagina ready for my penis? <laughs> yeah. Do you miss my penis? Yeah. Want to see it? Yeah. Was that good? Or do you want more? Lol. That was good. I love you. I love you too, my precious princess, Rose. I wonder if he's like for real, like, oh, Get ready. Check this out, Kayla. Get, getting a good look. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Want some more? Yeah. <sighs> I love you too, my precious princess Rose. What were you thinking about when you were looking at my penis? <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear my cats fighting. <laughs> Stop, guys. Please, I can't, I can't go back and do this video one more time. I've come too far. Okay. <laughs> what were you thinking about when you were looking at my penis? That I can't wait to see you. To see me? Or to touch my penis? Lol. Both. Like, <laughs> like you just detach his penis and send that on, you know, to go visit her. 
detachable penis. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Are you ready for the bubble bath? Yay, yes. Kayla, that's like her favorite part. The bubble bath and the pizza. We need to bring a pizza. Me too. Do you want to lay on top of me in the bath? Beside me or between my legs? Lol. Or all of the above? Like... <laughs> <laughs> he's so methodical is not the word that I want but I think you know what I mean like he's so specific about now when we sleep you're going to be on your stomach and you're going to have your leg like this now in the tub first you're going to lay on top of me then you're going to lay beside me and then between my legs first you're going to pet butt like what what the fuck um what you think I don't really know yet. Guess we'll figure it out when we get in the tub. Lol. Yeah, lol. You have to lay on top of me at some point in the tub. Then I can slide my penis in your vagina. That is the first time he has referenced the act without saying, stick my penis. He must have gotten his hands on a thesaurus. What is another word for stick? Okay. Do you want me to do that in the tub? In the water? Yup. Okay. Do you want me to do that, though? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just read ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> 36 year old Lauren Armstrong asks... Can I have my hands on your boobies at the same time? <laughs> you fucking creep. Your boobies. <laughs> yeah. You really are ready for me. Huh? You little slut. That's what he's that's what he's thinking. Yeah. Are you sure you're ready for my penis to be deep inside you? <laughs> Sorry, threw up in my mouth. Why do you keep asking me if I'm sure I'm ready for that stuff you talk about? Just because I want to be sure that you are. I don't want you to do anything you're not ready for because I love you, Rose. Yeah, what a great guy you are, Lauren. You're great. I mean, how considerate that you're going to make sure that this 13-year-old is ready for all this disgusting shit you want to do to her. And... If you think that's really why he keeps asking that, um, I'm sorry. Don't don't take offense to what I'm gonna say, but you're stupid. <laughs> He's saying it because he wants to read it and reread it. He's hoping. He's just hoping if he throws enough bait out there, she'll bite and she'll finally say something like, "Get down." Sorry, not get down. Down! Get down! <laughs> Sheriff's office! I'm going to start saying to my cats. Um, <laughs> they've been so fucking annoying. Stop it, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay. But he is just hoping at some point she's going to be like, Oh my God, Lauren. I can't wait for you to slide your huge penis inside of my vagina while you hold on to my boobies um because he will read that and reread that and reread that while he creates pictures in his head um brb coffee okay back it sounds like you're ready though so if you are then i am okay i don't know why my cam closed off are you anxious to get your lips on my penis? Who, who the fuck? I know the answer is Lorne. But who the fuck says this stupid shit? Are you anxious to get your lips on my penis? It's, it's so... It's not even like clinical. It's, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. It's not... It's just stupid. I can't. I've lost words. Maybe I need a fucking thesaurus. I need a million other words for stupid. Yeah. I miss your voice, precious. 
I miss yours, too. What were you just typing to me? Well, I don't remember. I think my brain went dead for a second. Yeah, she probably choked herself out. Like, she's like, I'm so, I'm so done. A few more days, Kayla, just a few more days and it's, and it's going to be done and you're going to be so glad. Don't let it die on me. I love that brain you have in your head. He could give a fuck if she didn't even have a brain. If she were just an empty shell with a vagina. Which she is. Okay. Are you anxious for me to take your clothes off of you? Yeah. Are you thinking about it now? Lol. Yeah. Tell me what you're thinking. Lol. That I love you and I wish it was Friday. Me too. And I love you too, Rose. Do you wish you were already here or that we were on our way back here? Like, what the fuck? Do you wish I was at the door or that we were sitting on the couch? What? Um, let's see. I wish I was already here. I mean, there. Lol. What would you want to be doing if you were already here? What would you want to be doing right now? And be honest with me. You don't have to be shy with me, remember? Lol. I'm your BF. Lol. Taking the bubble bath. What would you be doing in the bubble bath? What do you wish we were doing in it if we were in it right now? Whatever you want to do. I want to know what you would want to be doing. Lol. I don't know. Yes, you do. You just won't say. Lol. Tell me. Please. Doing all that stuff you talk about. Which would you rather be doing the most? <laughs> this is an obvious statement coming up, but this is why he tolerates the catfishing. Who the fuck else is going to put up with this shit? The silly questions. The the non-erotic sex talk the demanding nature he knows it he knows deep down inside himself he knows it's all a game and the joke is on him but it's his only sexual outlet he knows he has to know how ridiculous it all is but if you drink enough Bud Light doesn't matter just doesn't matter which would you rather be doing the most I don't know can't pick which one sounds better to you it all sounds pretty cool lol I love you besides I never done that stuff before remember so how I'm gonna pick because I wanted you because I wanted you to pick you're my girlfriend so I have to think about you first <laughs> yeah what what you he's so st stupid I'm just gonna call this video he's so stupid uh, I, you're my girlfriend so I have to think about you first which degradating act do you want me to perform on you first where do you want me to stick my penis in your unwilling unyielding flesh first um, which way do you want me to abuse you first Aw, you're so sweet. You're beautiful, Rose. Thank you for being my girlfriend, Rose. Have you tried to picture my penis going in your vagina yet? Thank you for being my boyfriend. So Lauren says something, I guess, that could be considered sweet and, you know, compared to all this other crazy shit it comes out with. And he follows it up with, Have you tried to picture my penis going in your vagina yet? Yeah, kind of. And what were you thinking? <laughs> you would think that as this tactic obviously is not working, that he would try to come up with another one. But nope, he's just going to plow ahead. He's going to beat her down until she just gives up. That's his modus operandi in everything he does. I'm just going to beat you down until you acquiesce. <sighs> I love knowing what you're thinking. No shit. No shit. About you and me doing that stuff. How did you like thinking about that? Now we, ha now we have to know how much she liked it. Liked thinking about the shit. Well, 
I liked it. What are you thinking about right now? I'm really excited about Friday. Me too. Didn't you say you wanted me to wear my hair in a ponytail? Yeah, you look so pretty like that, Rose, and younger. Okay. Like in the pic of you at Haley's, the one where she looks like she's eight. Okay, that's how I'll fix it then. Thank you, my precious princess, Rose. You're welcome. I want to look good for you, you know? You always look good to me. Thank you. You're very welcome. Still not much hair. I can't even, I can't even, like, still not much hair down there. Yeah, every day Kayla, you know, takes a shower and she gets out. And she goes, one, two, three. Nope. Good. Big smile. About how much do you have down there? I don't know. Not that much, lol. Like a couple or ten or more than ten, lol. <laughs> He's, OMG. It's like, it's like even Sherry Twist is like, I can't, I can't. You're crossing the line. Like a couple or ten or more than ten. Who asks this shit? OMG. Lol. Probably more than ten. I never count them. Are they blonde? <laughs> Fucking gross. Fucking gross. Yes. I know. I'm going to see anyway. I was just wanting to know. Lol. I love you. I love you. Do you like the hair that I have down there? There's <laughs> no fucking curly cues. Crop circles. It looks like, it looks like aliens landed on there. <laughs> I guess. Never thought much about it. Lol. Yeah, because you're normal. Because you're, you're somewhat normal, Kayla. Oh, okay. Lol. You just paid attention to my penis. Huh? Yeah. You're really making me blush. So that's like a little cue. You know, people who are attuned to social cues would read that and say, maybe I better change the subject. Let's see if Lauren takes the cue. Why are you blushing, precious? Lol. Nope, he doesn't take it. He doesn't He doesn't pick up on it at all. Do you like my balls a lot, too? Oh, were you paying not much attention to them, too? Lol. Do you like my balls a lot, too? Or were you paying not much attention to them, too? Lol. Do you like my balls a lot? I'm a grown woman, all right? I'm... <clears throat> I could give a fuck about balls. I could give a fuck about seeing a dick. It does, it does nothing for me. I, I'm, I'm talking about seeing a picture of a penis. <clears throat> it does nothing for me. Most women, we, could, we, we don't fucking care. If we like you, we like you. I can't speak for all women, but seriously, I don't give a fuck about your balls. The fact that he thinks that anything, any woman or girl or whatever would sit there and look at that and go, hey, those balls look pretty neat. It's, he's fucking sick. I seen them. I mean, that's about all she can say about them. I seen them. And do you like them a lot too? Sure, they belong to you. Do you like my penis more or my balls more? Lol. Fuck. Hmm. I can't put my balls inside of you. Lol. <laughs> I, can't, I can't put. I can't put my balls inside of you. What the fuck? Your penis. Good choice. Lol. Okay. Do you think you'll be able to fit my whole penis in your mouth? I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure, Lauren. Geez, I don't know. It looks really big. <laughs> Is it? Want to look at it again so you can see? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it looks pretty big. And Lauren is so... He's going to go back. I, I guarantee when they're done chatting, 
or at various times when he's not online with her, he's going to go back and he's going to read that over and over and over again. Do you think you could fit the whole thing in your mouth? I don't know, but I'll try. He's... He's imagining, like, trying to deep throat this 13-year-old who's never filleted anyone ever. You know, has never even had a boy touch her, never gone to second base or third base. You, You know what I mean. And he's talking about trying to deep throat this little girl. And and it's just going to get worse from here. So so prepare yourselves. Do you want me to come in your mouth? I don't know. Is that okay? And just the thought of his yellow, rancid jizz. (sighs) Is that okay to do that? Yes. If you want to, it is. Do you want me to? Well, does it taste bad or good? You won't get pregnant by doing that, lol. Really? Really? You're telling your potential sex partner she can't get pregnant by swallowing your sperm. And that didn't... That didn't give you pause even for a fucking second. But I imagine Lauren had to what did they have back then? Ask Jeeves or whatever. He had to go check that out. He had to look that up. Can you get pregnant by drinking cum? Um, you won't get pregnant by doing that. Lol. I don't know. I'm, I've never tasted it. Lol. I'm surprised he doesn't. I'm surprised he doesn't say, oh, you'll love it. It tastes so delicious. You'll, you can try it and tell me if it tastes bad or good, though, if you want to. Do you want to? No. No, want to get no pregnant? I don't want you to get pregnant either, lol. At least right, not right now, lol. Yeah. You won't get pregnant by tasting it, though, or even swallowing it. The only way you could get pregnant is if I cummed inside your vagina. And again, he probably just looked that up. Okay. Do you want to taste it, then? Yeah, I guess. Do you want to swallow it, too? If this chat had progressed by another couple of weeks, I'd be really interested to see just how far it would degenerate. Like, what I mean is, he started out, you know, I want to put my hand on your butt. Then it's, you know, I'm going to stick my finger in your vagina. Then it was, you know you can kiss my penis. Then it was, you can suck on my penis. You can lick on my penis. Then it was, we're going to take a bubble bath together. Then the bubble bath became doggy style in the tub. Now it's, I want you to swallow my cum. I want you to deep throat my cock and swallow my cum. What is next? Because it's obviously becoming, you know, not enough for him. It has to be more and more like... I don't even want to think about what what his mind would come up with next in that childish, ridiculous way of his. Um, do you want to do you want to swallow it too? Swallow it, huh? Yeah, you can taste it and then spit it out, or you can swallow it. Which do you want to do? <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Do you want another look at it? Maybe then you might decide. Lol. No, I will think about it. Okay, what are you doing? Thinking. About what, lol? This tasting and swallowing thing. You have a few days to decide, precious. You don't have to decide right now. Like Kayla, like making a a list, like a pro and con. Like (laughs) She has to make a big decision. Do me a favor. Do you have your PJs on now? Yeah. Okay, open your bottoms up. Kiss your finger and put it on your vagina for me. That's me kissing your vagina right now. He's never said... He's so concentrated on her vagina. Like... (sighs) 
I could see like kiss your finger and put it on, you know, put it on your lips and give you a little kiss. But it's all about, I told you, we're just skin around a vagina, ladies. Did your vagina like my kiss? Yep. Wish I could stick my penis in your vagina right now. Yeah, me too. It's almost, it's almost 10. I know. Are you tired? Yeah, a little. Me too. Can you see me rubbing my eyes? <sighs> oh, you're so cute, Lauren, rubbing your little eyes. Are you sleeping, Lauren? Crazy you. Yeah, I know. I got up at four this morning, too, just to get in the practice of it. Lol. Yeah, he was up like his fresh princess on. Where is she? Tomorrow, I won't have to get up until five, though. Lol. I want these last 15 minutes with you, though. Oh, Christ. Okay. Unless you're really tired and want to go to bed right now. Crap, Daddy. Okay, I gotta go. She was like, she's just had enough. She's like, I can't do, I can't even do five more minutes of this shit. Okay, delete your archives. Okay, I love you. I love you, my precious princess, Rose. Dream about us. I will. Are they done? Yep. Night. Okay. Good night. That's it. I was a little long-winded um, today. I apologize. Uh, but I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> it's almost over, folks. We're almost there. We, we've started this journey together. We've laughed. We loved. We've cried. Um, and it's almost coming to an end. But don't worry. Um, we're we're going to do some other things when this is over. Okay, delete your archives, preciouses. Bye, sweethearts. <laughs>